Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to learn Algolia search. So I was working with a big client uh, who has uh, more than uh, two and a half lakh products in his website. Now he wants the search to be very fast and very accurate to the results. So uh, there comes the Algolia. And uh, obviously if you have a lower product system, you do not need services like Algolia. But uh, when you are very high in your product system, you uh, you used Algolia into your system or this kind of facility. It's just a search engine that indexes your database products and give you accurate search results on base of that. Obviously, they are using now nowadays AI, but it was not there previously. So, uh, if you go on the pricing, I do not know, it's free for uh, around 10 lakhs of uh, records and 10,000 search requests per month. That is sufficient to test your applications. And if you go beyond that, they are costing somehow, uh, some around there, obviously. Now, uh, before I go into, I would like to, once you uh, log into the application here, you sign in the account you just uh, comes into this page exactly where your first application is ready and when you click on this you can see your first application and if you create on a new application it can be created this application is nothing like it's like a database exactly if you think of it it's like a simple database which have your tables indexed and synced with your local system or your server so if I click on a create new application, it will take to a new page and it will ask a bunch of questions and then it will create an application. I do not want it. I just executed it and go to the home pages. Okay. If I click on this uh, application, if I click on this, or if I click on search, exactly, I can go into this section. So now you can see I have two type of tables. So as I told previously, it is just like a database. Okay, as you're using MySQL or uh, PostgreSQL or MongoDB, you create database, you create tables. Yes, exactly. But these uh, tables are all indexed and they are going to hold your record and sync according to the database you have connected to it. So how we will do that? I will show it later in this video. Okay. So first, understanding the elementary thing of the uh, of uh, Algolia searches so it searches your record very fast that's the main motto of Algolia doing it uh, if you have lower amount of products it doesn't matter but when you are having 2 lakh 3 lakh 4 lakh products 5 lakhs products then it matters your query takes times to accumulate things out then you need some kind of service like this so i was doing for it uh, for a client so i thought uh, why not share with you guys as well so you can understand and this is a very useful uh, api is a very useful service though it has a premium plan but it's the free is sufficient to test everything okay so once you get here you can see i have uh, two tables one is blog and you can see one entry of the block. So let us go to the uh, local host. is not taking okay it's taking now so it is my passport uh, username and once i am here i can see algolia search over here and uh, if you can go into the blogs you can see i have one block uh, data that is here exactly and you can also see that data is populating here as well now if I go into the system 
and create another block. Now I have uh, one block uh, tested here, so that would be uh, settled. So once I click on this, it's get added. Now if I go into this section and refresh the page, I can see the data is getting populated over here as well. The ID is 4 and if you go into my database, the ID is also 4. Okay. So whatever the data is, it is getting populated over here. Now, if I, uh, if I delete the blogs, I can definitely delete. If I list the blog, I can list. It's listing for Angolia as well. Okay. If I search the blog, that is the main part. If I search like something like this, it can search the block instantly. Now, if I have a block like test, something like that, it does not return anything because it does not match with anything over there. And if you add or update the blocks, it will also do the same work, same stuff. But mainly coming to the block section, it's where it's getting syncing now but it's very useful not for the blocks this is just for the purpose to show you how the things are getting done but the main purpose of this thing is for the products where products can be created and products can be synced so if i create a product if i create a product and search it and add it and if I give search to a product or um, something like what is the product I have added? A test. Test. It gives me a number of results. Why this is giving me this kind of result? I will show you what I have done here. I will definitely show you that part. The, you see there is a lot of uh, objects is coming out i have arranged those objects and put it in an array and then respond it out but this is not the uh, only result it has accumulated result with a lot of features exactly so now coming under the hood let us see how we get going to do this and we have this command php artisan scotting so now first you have to go into uh, this section where it says you have to just uh, install the composer algolia uh, package once done this is done now you have to make a model so i have made two models one is of the product obviously uh, so we are using the searchable command over here use searchable and on the product use searchable these are the two major things very important part if you put use searchable this model and it's all the function to this model actually connected with algolia and if you just putting this word exactly use searchable laravel scott use searchable and all this have to happen once you create a new model suppose you create a product details model or product uh, variant model something like this then you use this one and you use this command php artisans for import once you create this your table will be reflecting on this part again and you can see nothing else has to be done my listing i have not done anything here is nothing that is related to algolia it's simple CRUD operation of the blocks and simple CRUD operation of the products that has been done exactly and once you use the searchable use searchable you are allowed to use the searchable word with the block with any model that you are related now if you go into the product part obviously you can see what are the criteria you can search you can see the price created at 
discounted price at price between ranges so that is why you have so many type of response coming into this section exactly so this is the main thing for algolia otherwise nothing else you just have to create the crowd operation or whatever you wanted to do you just have to create it now once you create all these things it automatically gets synced with the system by itself now if you um, if you go into the block again you just need to use searchable that's all and if you having as you can see i'm using the laravel latest version if you having problem installing this just copy this one go to the, this section you just remove this part it will automatically adjust it do not use colon uppercase 20 it will not in uh, it will not install in the latest version of uh, laravel then okay so this is how you can do it but more than that there are other option as well if you go into the block section or if you go into the product section as well whatever things you have okay i have one product you can see all the attributes are showing over here you can configure the search by yourself searching attribute if you go and by which searching attribute you wanted the search to be happening on the interface and uh, if you have a blade in front of you react in front of you angular in front of you view in front of you next in front of you doesn't matter uh, you can either do the search from the laravel apis or you can do the search itself from the interface of that uh, uh, front end part it can be next it can be angular it can be view it can be anything from there you can do the search by installing their SDKs as well okay so this is a very handy product that i have uh, i have used on and uh and this is the second time i'm using for it for the client but uh, my previous client does not have so much products uh, but he was insisting on using it but uh, for this client we have to use it because we have two and a half lakh products into his e-commerce system so that is the main challenge where you have a dynamic pricing listing where you have filters you have to have a rapid search on that uh, front end part so this is how you should uh, do uh, product search in on a very huge data desk exactly thank you for watching this video if you like my video do subscribe to my channel and as always i will be sharing all the details and all the code on my video description thank you for watching this video